In this video, we will show you how we made our DIY 3-chamber filtration system. For this 3-chamber filtration, you will need 3 containers that will serve as our chambers. It doesn't have to look like this as long as you have containers that is enough to hold enough water and to hold the biomedias. We will also use 2 inches diameter PVC pipes enough for a good flow. You have to consider the flow rate of your filter because if you have a strong flow on a small pipe, it might clog and overflow. Also, we will need a small basket as a decongestion chamber to avoid clog in the bio filter. The top container will be our first chamber and will serve as a mechanical filter and the other chambers will be for our bio filter. First, we need to bore a hole of our first chamber to transfer the water from the first chamber to the second chamber. A pipe will be raised inside the first chamber to allow the water to rise up and overflow through this pipe. The pipe goes down the bottom of the first chamber down to the second chamber. So we need to bore a hole at the bottom of the first chamber and at the cover so the pipe can pass through. We also need to attach this basket at the bottom. For the second chamber, we will need to bore a hole on one side and also for the third chamber to transfer the overflow from the second chamber to the third chamber through the transfer pipe. We also need to bore holes for the drain pipes and attach an end pipe. Now since we have done all holes, we will be cutting the pipes and seal them. Before we continue, our fish food products are available in our TikTok shop. If you buy from us, it will help us fund our channel in making fish tip videos in the future. So head down to our TikTok shop and check out our products. Or check out the yellow basket. Our support stickers are still available too. Going back to our video, we will be using marine epoxy to seal the pipes. And as a trick to smoothen the epoxy, it is just by using water. Dip your fingers in the water and use your fingers to clean out the applied epoxy. Wipe it with a wet cloth if you want it very clean. Now we did the drain pipe first so it will dry up and when it is dry, we will fill in water to give weight to the containers to keep it still and avoid pipes from moving. Also, we will use some tape to keep the sanding pipe from moving. Once all pipes are sealed, we let it dry for 24 to 48 hours before using the filter system. Now watch out for our next video on how we install it in our aquarium. We hope you learned something in this video and thank you for watching.